What's up everybody, Alex here and welcome to this match of Dota Underlord Standard live in Season 1. We're going with the full insect build. It is rainy on Mama Eve's farm today. And that's A-OK -okay as we start. Look, it's, it's a really weird board. I don't think I've ever recorded with rain. It's a pretty neat effect, but everything looks really bizarre. Because like, is there like a... A rainy effect on the actual units themselves? I think there might be. I'm actually gonna take chainmail here. Time to bring back PA and Alchemist. I do agree. Listen, at, at this point, I just want to see new stuff. We need to bring some new heroes back. We definitely need to bring some new heroes back. We're gonna stay here for now, running the uh, the insects here. I'm gonna hold the Magnus. I'm gonna hold the Pudge. I'm also gonna hold the Drow Ranger. I don't think I'm doing Knights or Demons this game. I'm just not feeling Knights or Demons yet, you know? It's not a bad Hunter start. Because we can use Nyx Assassin, right? If we can two-star Nyx Assassin, we can run him with insects for some time and really help us transition into Hunters. So it is a pretty interesting start, honestly. It is an interesting start. Hey Alex, what's your MMR? Turtle Hunter? I have no idea what my MMR is. Seven? Maybe? If I had to guess? Seven? I think I like this place. Maybe three? I'm actually not sure what my MMR is. I should not level. I should level. I will level. Pudge is the correct call here. The reason why, now I could have activated Heartless with the Drow, but I think having two, two insects jump in here might actually work out well for us. Double the Vendetta. We got a Chain Mill for Pudge. That should help us here. Unfortunately, this guy has a lot of value on board with these two-star units. I don't know if we can take them on. Come on, come on. We can I, you gotta be kidding me. Insects might actually win us this fight. You gotta be kidding me. That is absolutely fantastic. Kamikaze, good to see you. Just watched uh, part one of two of the Dota Guide last night. Definitely feel more confident to try the game now soon. Crazy to understand. I like the format. Signet, I'm so happy you like those videos. That makes me so happy to hear. I um, I put a lot of effort into them. And uh, not that that makes them good. You can put a lot of effort into something and it still suck. But I did feel like, you know, um, I took the time to really plan those guides. Um, I have an overarching kind of, like... I didn't, the reason why it took me so long to build them and create them and write them was because it wasn't just about making one guide and figuring out what I was going to do next. It was about like the greater concept of, okay, what are these guides going to be? What concepts are we going to cover? You know? So I wanted to make sure that like the guide was a very cohesive set. Like all the episodes, if you watch them all, gave you a very firm understanding of what to do in Dota 2, right? At least to get you started. You seek Shin's aid. All right, we take Desso here. We take Desso here. Nuggets in Paris, good to see you. Okay, easy pudge. Damn it, I think we sell the Ember. We sell the Ember. I don't like... There's no way we continue winning. There's no way. There's no way. Got some insect contention. Friends. I've not been rolling. I kind of want to economy a little bit. We're against Ronald here. Ronald! Nilzipu here. But driving. Oh! Kamikaze's with Nilzipu and Nilzipu's driving. I'm glad. I'm glad Nilzipu's not using the phone while driving. That is dangerous. Good call. Good teamwork there, Kamikaze. Good job. You know what, Signet, you're right. There's always, you know, even with the Dota Dota Underlords Beginners Guides, there's often a lot of, like, there's a lot of information. Dota is extremely complex. <laughs> it's part of what makes Dota beautiful, though, really. The complexity is part of what makes it beautiful. No one's on Hunters right now. We're getting no Hunter RNG. 
But I feel like, listen, I feel like I gotta roll here. I give up. Damn it, I gotta roll again. Please don't make me work with Traxx. Is this even worth it? It's not. I'd rather have the vendetta. That's a damn shame. So I expect to lose this fight here. Our lineup is not strong enough. I re-rolled there because we need to two-star some of these these guys. If we don't, like we're gonna we're gonna blow up our win streak. And unfortunately, yeah, we're gonna lose this. We're gonna lose this. We had to. All right, we we got no no RNG whatsoever. Had we two-star Nyx, two-star Weaver, something along those lines, and sure we could have won this fight. But other than, outside of that, we didn't stand a chance. I've never played Dota 2, but those videos make me feel good about giving it a go. Cody, I mean, that's the hope, right? That's the hope. Um, I hope that you do give Dota 2 a go, because it is a lot of fun. You, keep in mind, you're going to lose a lot of your first games. When you first start in Dota 2, you are going to have a rough time. Okay, you're going to have a rough time getting started, because it's just one of those games that's pretty unforgiving. Especially as it tries to sort out your MMR. Ah, we can't break up insects. Insects for hunters? No. No, yes. Okay, I'm gonna try this. I think we're still gonna lose. I'm not happy about this setup here. Okay. Take the pudges. Take our roll here. Take the drow. Okay. Drow over Nyx. Stone Night Owl was calling for Drow over Nyx, as was Fluff. Glaric pack. I got wrecked by my first two games. It was brutal. That's exactly it, though. That's exactly it. Like, Dota Dota 2 is extremely unforgiving at the start. If you understand, if you come to the understanding that you're probably going to lose your first, honestly, you're probably going to lose your first five games. Easy. And you might win one, and then you'll lose another four. And then suddenly you'll find you're starting to be matched with people more into your skill set. I think it's fine. And I think they start assuming you're a bit of an average player because of, like, the smurf issue. Because you don't want to encourage, because it's a free-to-play game, you don't want to encourage experienced players to just make new accounts to, like, just throttle new, new people all the time. So what ends up happening is you end up in a situation where, like, it kind of gives you the benefit of the doubt of being good and then kind of degrades your rating over time. It sounds weird to say it degrades your rating over time, but that's basically what it does. And suddenly you find yourself in a more appropriate... I can't even re-roll because this... It's funny because, like, there's been some really, really rough RNG this game. Hey, Gabble Pogi, good to see ya. There's been some really rough RNG this game so far. I'm surprised we only hit we have 89 health because, like, we've gotten very few heroes just very naturally... I think insects are carrying us right now, honestly, or everyone's just having bad RNG. But realistically, like, we've gotten... Like, we have two two-stars here. If we can three-star Pudge, that ain't bad. Is that a Santa Claus? And you skipped Shadow Player. You mean Shadow Shaman? Did I skip a Shadow Shaman? I don't need a Shadow Shaman. <laughs> Oh, don't worry about messing up a team, Signet. They're going to be mad at you anyways. So you may as well mess up. <laughs> oh, they're going to be mad at you no matter what, man. It's one of the funny things about uh, Dota 2. To say that there's rage, rage in the chat is a bit of an understatement. I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to put both of these. They're going to focus fire the same target. I think we can do enough DPS. I'm not, I, you know, I might roll one here. I'm gonna roll. Another Pudge a Rooney! Are we gonna three star Pudge? I have not three starred Pudge yet. And now we're well on our way to three starring Pudge. Babatumbi, that does sound like a beautiful build. Don't tempt me. I'll try it. I'll try it. We're getting some good Pudge RNG right now. Easy win. That was too easy. Easy win. Major, good to see you, Major. Oh, you said Shadow Demon, Turtle Hunter. Yes, I don't, you know what? Because I'm not focusing too much on the Heartless right now. This is clearly a Hunter's game, but I'm trying to determine how I'm going to incorporate other, uh, you wait a minute. Was that half? Wait a minute. My being stream sniped, I didn't expect half to be stream sniping. <laughs> Looks like I'm getting stream sniped. Half daddy's in the room. 
It's a lore player, guys. I'm intimidated. I'm intimidated. Okay, we took the all-out attack and I'll assume because he's good and I'll take him. Put him here, maybe. Yes, Desos do stack. Stone Night Owl, they do. As Save the Rad Roaches. One of my favorite names on uh, on Twitch TV. Save the Rad Roaches and Senior Wombat come to mind. It's just fun names to say. Because, you know what? I Listen, I've never saved a Rad Roach. I gotta be honest with you. I've killed a lot of rad roaches in my time, man. A lot of rad roaches. And do I feel bad about it? Listen, you gotta get XP somehow, right? You gotta get XP somehow. So no, I don't feel bad about it. Maybe I should though. Nine damage, that's a big that's a big hit on round eleven. And I'm gonna cut you ahead to round eleven. Alright, we're back. We take the beast master, even though I don't really want him. We could have we could have leveled there. No, we don't need to. Take the roll. Another Beastmaster, I will accept I your offer. And do I take a roll here? No, I think I'm gonna hold on to my money. I'm gonna hold on to my money. To kill them this Dota 2 has too many perks, too many heroes. It's a lot, it's a lot to get used to. You know what, Dota 2 does have a lot going on, but it's one of those things, there's no better feeling than a, like a, a high quality game of Dota 2 that comes together with a gun. Like you play with a good team, with the right mindset, and you get the dub. There's very few things that feel that good. Dota 2 has that kind of delivery, right? And I think that Dota 2 also has the benefit of being an, an excellent observer game. Watching professional Dota 2 is truly fantastic. And Senior Wombat's here. We were just talking about Senior Wombat and his absolutely fantastic name. So who's still fighting here? Is this guy running summoners or something? Is that what's happening? Why is this fight taking so long, damn it? Let's check contention. Forget these guys. Alright. So, Hunters are still uncontested. So when I see this, Pudge is being contested. We're two away from Pudge. We will contest him. Drow is contested. Contested. So, it's weird because this guy has not completed Hunters, but he's clearly trying. So, player 404 is doing Hunter Heartless. Okay. So, we see that. We understand that. He's at level 5. We need to out-level him. I think I put the double Pudge in, honestly. Pudge comes in, Weaver there, double punch. I'll give as much support as you know what, I'm gonna keep leveling. If he's gonna be at five, he's the problem. If he's at five, so he just he just put into leveling. I could tell. Because of the way he is, his money went down. They went on in increments of five, so he's leveling up. Um, Here's the problem, I know you want that Pudge. I want that Pudge too, but the problem is, I think that with a tier 2 unit, I can afford to level. I'm losing 5%, right? Oh, I lost. I already lost 5%, so I'm going down to 30. But then again, re-rolling aggressively, is it going to be worth it? Been high legend in Dota 2 for a while. <laughs> it's fun, very toxic. I can see that, I can see that. In, on vacation in Greece? That sounds awesome. Um, you know what? Maelstrom might be a good safe pick here. I'm gonna take Maelstrom. It's a good item for Weaver because of the attack rate. Deso's better on Wind Ranger because of the fact that she is a... You know what? Is this guy gonna level? Where is he? He leveled. He's leveled, so he's at 40. Is he gonna roll? I'm watching what he's doing here. <laughs> three budges! I got three budges! This is so silly. Three budges. Why? Why not? They do almost no DPS. But ain't nobody's gonna die in front of them, I'll tell you that right now. Three budges, the new meta! What's my rank? I'm big boss something. Big boss something. High, mid, big boss, I don't know. I'm always tanking rank, I don't care. I, uh, so I'm like mid big boss. I usually hover around big boss four and five. Gabo Pogi, I won my first and only Dota 2 game with Maiden. Only survived cause Lothar's Edge. Don't know the name. Invisibility thinking. Shadow Blade? You don't know about Shadow Blade? Yes, Shadow Blade. <laughs> the three pudge meta. Thank you. I look like a big boss. That means a lot to me. It's, I'll take that compliment all day long. Wait a minute, is that a compliment or an insult? Either way, I'll take it. 
So we're putting her on simply because she is a Vigilant. I might actually give her the death so she does have an, uh, the opportunity. You know what? Um, we'll keep it on what Weaver. Chance do they have against us? What chance do they have? I don't know. So he leveled to 7 too. So he's definitely paying attention to what I'm doing. We're against Hef Daddy. What's Hef Daddy got today? He's got some trolls. Okay, here we go. There's a stun we needed. Bat Rider's down. Dazzle's down. Shadow D uh, sorry, Shadow Shaman is down. We got ourselves the win. We're still on fire. We're still on fire. It's true, I am never gonna win. Are you playing deal or no deal for actual money? I'm gonna talk about that more later, but yes. And like, I'm not talking like 10 bucks. These guys don't fool around. These guys don't fool around. There are very serious prizes to be had in deal or no deal. Like I'm not even, I'm not even playing it, playing it up. I'm not even playing it up. These guys are out of control. More on that later. Look at this. See, I knew he was building Heartless Hunters. He has way better, he's a better lineup than I do. He's gonna beat me. If I play against him, he beats me, easy. Thank Monarch, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the stream and welcome to this community. It's a great one. I hope you love it like I do. We're still getting wins here, but we're going to start falling off pretty quickly. I mean, we don't have the board strength to really compete here. Maybe, come on, take. Oh, Lycan's down. That's good. That's good. See, these bears are too good. The bear's too damn good. I'll take the one damage for the free reroll, though. That's no problem. Yeah, Turtle Hunter, MMR is very hard to come by. Basically, <laughs> yep. I can see that. So look, so we're both contesting the same build now. But he's getting better RNG. He looks like he's working towards going Luna. I'm not interested in Luna right now. He does not have a Murana, which is key. The problem is he's leveling very aggressively as am I. So he's clearly keeping an eye on me. I'm not chasing this. I can't level this. There's no point. I'm gonna lose this next fight. I'm gonna lose this next fight, but there's nothing I can do. It's Half Daddy. We just fought Half Daddy. That ain't right. That ain't right. We're fighting Half Daddy again. We beat Half Daddy last time, but that means he's after some sweet, sweet revenge, that's for sure. And it looks like he might get it. His lineup's doing work on us right now. He got the drop, and he got the drop. It looks like he is going to get us. Maybe we take some reduced damage thanks to, uh... I'm never going to win. I'll hold the drow. You gave me quite the run. Easy Silver's Edge. Put this here, this here. We need this Marana before he, he gets it. So he's at 37. Can make it work. I hate this. I don't like what I've done here. But I feel like I don't have much of a choice. Yeah, waiting for the big patch, you're right. That big patch is huge. I can't wait for it to come. So player 404, this is the guy we're against. He is going to beat us. His lineup is significantly stronger than ours. We have better items than he does, which I think might make a difference. But realistically, I, we, we're actually going to beat him. Like, his itemization is not right, I don't think. And we did beat him on the merits of the items completely. Wow. I did not expect to beat him. His lineup is definitely better than mine. Look at this. And he pulled, did he pull Murana? No, he's not pulled Murana yet. So I beat him, locked in the interest. Insects did some work too, but if you look at his lineup, right, he's got the Deso, which is good. Wait, that's me. He's got the Deso. Actually, the light, it's very similar itemization. Don't worry, I'll get it done. Okay, that's good. We gotta roll this now. Okay, hold on. I killed in Malron's 
Hold the Enigma for a sec. Yeah, I don't... I'm not feeling Beastmaster right now. I'm trying to debate whether or not I get rid of him right now. I may. I probably will. I think I'm going to transition into Hunter Voids, honestly. I think that makes the most sense. I think Hunter Voids is where I'm going to go. So I think I'm going to sell him. I don't think we go... I don't think we go to six hunters. Yeah. Yeah. Beastmaster's gone. Woo -hoo. We must have the will to see this done. Okay. I'll check contention on Life Stealer. Sorry, I'm really thinking here. I'm really thinking here. We're against this guy again. We have We have warriors up. Troll Warlord with a mask would be better. The Silver's Edge is acceptable. Not not great, but acceptable. It looks like because if we can activate four vigilant with a troll warlord, that's scary. That is scary. Remember, though, he'll get the benefit of the Vigilant bonus, right? Not to mention the fact that we're going to stack Deso on him. So, this is really interesting. And he's pretty tanky, all things considered, right? Now, Pudgeroonie's breaking my heart. But then again, you guys did demand that I roll for him, and I didn't. But this guy hasn't pulled Pudge either. He's holding a Marana on his bench. So, he's got the Marana RNG. So, his RNG is stronger than mine. And he has the four Vigilant. But we're not going to 600s. He's trying to step towards... Six Ooh! Someone was listening, so do we roll this or what? I think we gotta roll this. Oh man. I will lead your army. We had to do that. No, Deso here. Let's throw some out. I have to fix the positioning, I don't like it. Just give me a sec. Do I run Lifestealer? No. I think I, I gotta get- no, we can't run Lifestealer right now. We're, I don't think this is a four Heartless game. I don't think this is a four Heartless game. Usually I go four Heartless, right? I think I get rid of Weaver as well. And I activate- I activate my, uh... Or do I pull Sand King early? We just got thumped, man. Damn it. Look at that. Oh, so close to minimize damage, too. This guy's three health, too. Ronald! You're killing me. Gemini Panther brings up a good point. That is very problematic with the Troll Warlord. He cannot switch targets. You're right. Maybe we have to break up. Maybe we can't run Troll Warlord ultimately. You're right. That's a great point. Now you've got me thinking. Now you've got me thinking that perhaps I should make a change here. I hope my talents are enough. Yeah, he's not doing enough damage. I think you're right. I don't think Troll Warlord's the right fit right now. Or I go to three Vigilant. I, I can't drop Marana. Who do I drop? You know what? I didn't pick I didn't pick up the Wind Rangers in the last fight anyway. We saw Wind Ranger, we dropped to three. Keep Marana. Okay, I'm actually this is kind of crazy. But I think it's actually better. We sell Wind Ranger. 
We keep Marana. We put these two like this. He comes in. He goes on the corner. He gets this to survive to cast. This goes here. Okay. Take our free reroll. Broodmother's not what we want. Easy pledge. Perfect. We got the three-star pledge. There it is. Now, I wish I had rolled a little more aggressively there, but it's okay. Oh! Even with the chainmail, he got stunned. He didn't attack. So what we're going to do here is we're going to level up. We're going to stay at three vigilant. We're going to try and activate voids here. Alex, by the way, um, I'm surprised you thank everyone personally for their subs. Really love this community. What world do I not thank people for supporting me? No, you guys are the ones who are awesome, not me. Now, here's the thing. We're at 18 health here. I think what we're going to do, we get to 9 and we hard roll here. Hey, LD19, good to see you. Wombat, that's why we're running only the three Vigilant. Take the Troll Warlord here. And, oh, Void Spear, perfect. So we activated Voids here, which is key. Now I got to roll this. Give me something. Okay, that's good. Take the Tide. Take the Void. No, I couldn't sell. I could sell her. Who cares? But I didn't have enough. Can't sell any of these. All of these are one away from two star. Can't do that. We got to bank on winning this fight. Now the Tide Hunter's huge. Enigma got his cast off. He survived long enough here. Pudge Rooney's getting bigger. Now here's the thing. Pudge is, should Pudge should probably have the chainmail. At this health, the additional armor is absolutely insane. Pudge is getting angry. Look at that hook. You guys see how big that hook was? It was huge. Troll doesn't fit. He does because he activates the warrior bonus. And if we stay at three vigilant and we stay at three void, it's worth it. Three vigilant's going to give our vigilant units some additional um, DPS, which is fine. It punishes those casting, gives us a little bit of focus firing capability. I'll take it. But realistically, I think that troll warlord is still worth it here. I think we rotate these two. He gets this. He's got a cast. He's not going to cast early enough. Do I put him on the front? Comes in for the stun. We'll do this. Could have rolled that, but either way, I didn't have enough gold to buy anybody. So let's hope we win this. Remember, we do have Vlad's here as well. Come on, oh, Warlord's stunned. Come on, come on. Enigma's doing work. Enigma leading in damage right now. Pudge is down. There's a hit from Eno. Come on, Marana. Marana got stunned. No way. Marana was our primary carry there. She got stunned at the worst possible time. That's some rough RNG on that stun. Heft Daddy giving it to us there. No, Pudge cannot get that big. There's no mechanism for Pudge to grow like that. <laughs> yes, Medusa's a little shy right now. I don't think Cadence is enough. Oh, we just got destroyed. Okay, Scythe of the Vise is fine. We gotta roll this. Come on, we need a couple two stars here. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh, I could I could have gotten rid of him. Alright, we gotta survive one more. Let's go. Survive one more. He's got a good stun tide. We need a good stun tide. Let's see it. Good. That's what we need. Let our troll warlord and our vigilance do work. We're eating him away. He's got 10 units. He's got a good build, a good lineup. Get that stun. Don't take my tide. He's losing DPS. He didn't take the tide. We might eliminate him. No, we're not. He has 31 health. Never mind. I thought that I, he had 10. I have 10. Never mind. The armor reduction Gemini is good, but we're get, we're moving off of Void Spirit now. We're going to go with the uh, Faceless instead. Sand King could actually be interesting here. It 
Sanking would be a perfect tenth, but he doesn't work. I can't get him in. This guy's a good lineup. Demon lineup. Hopefully we can lock him down. There's the one stun. Come on, faces. Lock him down. Not long enough. They're healing too much. Come on. Come on, get him. Get him. We're surviving. Yes. 20 damage. We still got this. We still got this. Hey, Dr uh, Dr Draken, good to see you. And Hef Daddy has eliminated player 404. Thank you, Hef. What a gentleman. Okay. So what we're going to do here, we got to roll this. We're never going to... Oh, Medusa. Medusa comes in. Do we take Warlord out for Medusa? Drow out. Medusa here. No, oh, I ran out of time. This should be over here. Okay, Medusa out for Drow. We lose Heartless, but that's it. We also drop Vigilant, but we only hit three anyway. Uh oh. Uh oh. This went very poorly. This went very poorly. No, it's second place for us. Second place for us. But you know what? That was a damn good game. I kind of regret... I could have made a couple changes at the end there. Draucott probably could have stayed in for the Heartless bonus. Probably taking out Weaver would have been a better call. But I was I was tight on time. I was trying to make a fast decision. But hey, what are you going to do? Thank you guys so much for watching. And a very special thank you to all of my wonderful subscribers. Take care, everyone, and have yourselves a wonderful day.